Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So I'm getting caught up on reacting to cinematics. I just reacted to all three of the Dragonflight Legacies trailers, chapters, or whatever, and now I'm going to go ahead and react to Ysera Return cinematic. Uh, this one I'm really excited for, nervous for. Um, I think we have some Tyrande, Malfurion, Ysera, of course. I don't really know what's going to happen. I remember hearing about some lore a few months ago about how Malfurion's going to die or something and go into Ardenweald in order for Ysera to come back or something. And I think Toronto is going to be really sad about it. Don't really know if that's what the cinematic is about, but I would assume it's going to touch on that. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and check it out. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Here we go. I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh shit, she got yeeted. Tail yeeted. Shit. Ooh. Trusting their fate, their hopes, to us. Are we certain it will be safe? Come. Here, by Elune's grace, this gift will be kept hidden from those who would wish it harm. Yet the time will come when it must leave the cradle of the dream and take its place in our world. And when it does, its protection will fall to us. My beloved, Kaldorai, all you have suffered, all you have given, will not be in vain. This I swear to you. Oh, it's so cute, I'm crying. Just a feeling. But this time will be different. Oh, wow. That was so nice. <laughs> Your flight needs you. We need you. Whatever the price may be for your return to Azeroth, name it. Oh, no. Tell us. Wow, oh my gosh. It's me. I must be the one to stay. What? Isera knows this, though she would never ask it of me. No. We will find another way. When she gave her life for mine in Valshara, it was not her time. And now, the balance may be restored. Then, then I will stay as well. Chandras and the others can... Tiranda, should everything we hope come to pass, the Kaldorai will need you. I am so tired, Malfurion. Do not ask this of me. After everything we have endured. My love, 
You have always been the strength of our people. They will follow you ever onward, and you will never be alone. <laughs> Until I see you this again, is emotional. I will dream of the night we may truly rest. Oh God, I love love too much. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, wholesome. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this would be so emotional. Wow, okay. Um, if you're managing a Let me pause this. Let me go back to um, a nice scene to pause on. And uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. Um, okay, so a couple things. One, I don't know when all of these like cinematics happen in the game. If they do happen in the game, I'm not really sure. I haven't been playing a ton of Dragonflight, so I haven't like come across any of this in game yet. But uh, when and if that is a thing, I'm excited to see how that plays out. And um, I did just want to mention just in general, I've been really, really uh, liking Dragonflight. I want to stream it, wanted to, um, but it's just... A weird situation right now. I moved out into our own house now, but right now where my PC is set up, it's in our like office and usually my husband's in here uh, with me and the background is not really aesthetic, um, which is why I've kind of been holding off on my reactions and stuff. But basically I need to move my whole PC setup to my other room where I actually have all of my like cool World of Warcraft backdrop stuff. And so I can just be alone and stream comfortably um, because I had to kick my husband out of the room so I could react to this. Um, but if I was going to stream, that would be like a three hour session. So yeah, uh, that's why I haven't yet. But second thing, this cinematic was amazing. All the hugging was so romantic and just, I love love. And um, when my husband and I were long distance, we always like talked about meeting in the Emerald Dream whenever we were like logging off for the night and saying goodnight to each other, we'd be like, oh, I'll see you in the Emerald Dream. So seeing Tronda and Malfurion together kind of reminded me of my husband and I during our long distance, so it was extra emotional. And um, there was one other thing. Oh, another thing, uh, leading off of that, which is kind of dark, I guess, considering I was just talking about how much I love them together. Um, but I also have always really wanted to see Tyrande and Illidan together. And like, Imagine if Malfurion, like, never came back. Because, like, it's weird, because he's just going to be in Ardenweald. He's not really, like, dead-dead. But what if he was kind of, like, dead-dead, and if Illidan came back and got together with Tyrande, and that would just be really interesting to see. Just saying, just putting that out there. I've always been a huge Illidan fan, and it would be cool to see him be with his beloved. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much just all of my random thoughts and everything that come into my mind. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave any comments down below. I would love to talk all things WoW, anything World of Warcraft. I love to reply to comments and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!